Alright guys, this is my August wrap up video. Alright, welcome back. Um, yeah, like I said, this is my August wrap up. I'm just, I don't really have much to say today so I'm just gonna jump into it. Alright, first off we have Alias Hook by Lisa Jensen which was recommended to me by Leanna over at Leanna's Library and I will link her review of this video down below. I will link her video of her review. I will link her video of review for this book down below. Now this is a kind of reimagining of Captain Hook's story and oh my god so it's so good. Now I haven't finished it. I'm only like a quarter way through it. The problem is that I've been like super busy this month and I've had a bunch of really bad headaches. I've been super stressed out so this book like you really have to just take the time to savor it. It's kind of like when I picked up um Strains of Dreamer and I picked that up completely blind because none of the summaries are any kind of descriptive. Didn't know anything and then I picked it up and read a couple pages like oh no I'm really gonna have to take my time with this. It's the same thing with this like I really need to take my time to savor it so I've basically been reading it all month like every time I start to get stressed out about anything I can't focus enough on this book to like thoroughly enjoy it but thus far it's really good and I really like it. And eventually I will finish it. Then um I have A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I believe darling I gave this book three stars. The first portion of it was very slow. Well it wasn't even slow. It just took me a bit to get into it. But like Lila Bard though. I'm Lila basically. Like there was see I tabbed stuff. There was where is it? So there was this point where these women she passed these women on the street and she said why anyone would ever to why would why anyone would ever pretend to be weak was beyond her. She tried to picture herself as one of the ladies she's stolen from that night. So easy to get tangled up in all the fabrics. So easy to stumble and be caught. And then later it says she... Oh, it served them right for playing weak. Maybe they wouldn't be so quick not to swoon at every top hat and take hold of every offered hand. And then the tabs, because it starts from the bottom and there's a tab. And then my tab over here, it says me as fuck. Lila was fabulous. I love her. Lila is like Kaz Brecker. Basically. Not as violent, but she's like everything. She would be like the Kaz Brecker of this book. Like she's like the gritty, darker one. Does that make sense? I don't know. But yes, yeah, so I gave that three out of five stars just simply because it took quite a while for me to get into it. But I I did super enjoy the world building. I did super enjoy Lila. Part of it though was that since Kel was really like the main character, I had a really hard time connecting with him in this book. And I can't put my finger on why. Like I got to learn Lila and what makes her and like her thought processes. But Kel's I still kind of didn't really get to know him. So um... Yeah, for those reasons, I didn't really connect with the book very much and I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. But I am super excited to read the sequel and the third, especially because it was just announced like yesterday or the day before that she will be making, how many more was it? 3, 4, 5 more books in this universe um, that take place like 5 years ahead of the time. It won't be about these characters, but these characters will be featured in it. So I'm super excited about that because even though I didn't connect the characters in that, like that will make... Um, make or break a book for me. I say that a lot is the character. So even though I enjoyed everything else about the book, the characters will take a five star book down to a three or two or vice versa. So like my problem with connecting with one of the major characters in this book was a problem for me and that kind of killed the enjoyability a little bit. So but I am super excited to read the future ones because that gives me more chance to learn Kale obviously and because there will be more books in this universe and I'm all for like a well flushed out universe being expanded. I love that shit. I love it. So then we have Anne I Darkened by Kirsten White which I buddy read with Leanna and I will link her review and her talk about the buddy read down below and I will link my review of this book down below as well I believe is a four star review I mean a four star read for me and it's simply like it was a struggle like I'm not gonna get into it I'll tell you why like at first I really just could not stand it for quite a while but the ending oh, gotta just go watch go watch the review not now watch the rest and then go watch the review I'll link it down below then oh my baby 
An Ember in the Ashes by Sawa Tahir. This is definitely a five star read. Now, at the time of recording this, it's August 28th, and I have like an hour's worth of reading left to finish the book, but I'm waiting for Leanna to catch up because we are buddy reading this. So, um, but yeah, unless Ian English just totally takes a dump on the whole rest of the book, which I doubt, this is a five star. I love this book so much and I did a gush video. It was supposed to be a review, but I just ended up gushing and probably not making a lick of sense. But it was so much fun and I will link the review for it down below. Why am I always caressing my books? Whatever. I'll link that review um, down below for you to go see if you care to take a look. Oh, right, this was like the first book I read this month, I think. Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass, which is the second book in the Throne of Glass series. It was a really quick read. I read it in like a day. It was aight. I think it was like a three. Two and a half or a three. I didn't hate it. It was better than A Throne of Glass. But Selena still, like there were things that got on my nerves. Like you're, you're... In the beginning of the book I was super excited. I can't even tell you what, what my problem was without spoiling stuff. But basically like the gripes I had about her in the first book, I still have about her in this one. They're marginally less present, but still there. But I mean, at least she has a personality and her personality is consistent as fuck. I can say that. So um, I will of course be reading um, the rest of the series because I'm really interested to see what happens with Rowan because Kale, Dorian, fight me. I don't care. All right, then we have Six of Crowns. I love this book so much, oh my God. It goes without saying, this was a five star read. I don't even need to just, it was so good. It was so good, it was so good, oh my God. I'm complete cash worker trash. Trash, trash, trash. I filmed a review that basically turned into a gush about Kaz Brecker, who is like one of the main characters in this book. I'm not going to get too much into that either. I did film the review. Like I said, I'll link it down below. But I love this book so much. And if you don't love it, what are you doing with your life? If you haven't read it, what are you doing with your life? Go read this book. It's so good. It's so good. So um, I have Cricket Kingdom. I kind of started it, but then I was like, wait, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for it to be over. So I backed off. We'll see. All right. Then last book on my pile for August. Golden Sun by Pierce Brown, which is the second book in the Red Rising trilogy, which is even fucking stabbier than the first one. Kind of. It's stabbier in a different way. Like there was a lot more stabbing quantity, but this one was a lot more violent, I think. And just like the twists and turns and just, oh my god, oh my god. It will just, I was enthralled the entire time. Now I listened to it on my drive back from Houston, which was an 18 hour drive. I finished it about an hour back, an hour before I made it back to Colorado. Or an hour before I made it home, I think I finished it. And the whole time I was just like, Argh! like just gutted. You have, fuck, fuck. I, if you have not read this book, like if you're not, you don't like like violence and bloodthirstiness in books this might not be for you but if you do and you have not picked up this book why i didn't know what it was the whole time i kept seeing it so i didn't have it and when somebody finally told me like hey did you, you this is what it actually is it's like oh i need these and they're so good guys they're so good they're so good so fucking stabby and violent and plot twisty and just oh my god God and like the growth of some of the characters and like the decline of the other characters from the first book to the second book and there are certain characters you just don't know what the fuck they're gonna be doing. I'm gonna have to film a separate review for this book because I can't talk about it for those of you who have not read it and the review will probably be spoilery because you cannot talk about this book with no spoilers it's just not a thing. It's not. It's not. So those are the books that I completed in the month of August um, with me being presently 13 or so pages into Crooked Kingdom and like 100 pages into Alias Hook. But um, yeah, I would like to know your thoughts on Golden Sun and I would like to know if anybody loved An Ember in the Ashes as much as I did. I'm sure people told me on my Ember in the Ashes video, but I love it so much. I'm trying to find all the Elias merch, all of it, and the Casper merch, and just, oh, guys, 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 
I'm good. Okay, so I'm gonna stop now. That was my August wrap up. Thank you for watching. As always, comment down below. I love comments more than I love likes and subscribes, TBH, because I like talking to all the people. Also, real quick, let me know if any of you would like to see a bookshelf tour because I have three shelves of paperbacks over there and four tall shelves of hardbacks behind me. And I will do a bookshelf tour if I get to a thousand subscribers, if anybody cares to see it. So if you would like to see it, let me know down in the comments. But I believe it was Megan, right? Megan D's? Are you, you're the one who asked me about a bookshelf tour, right? Yeah. So let me know what you guys think. So yeah, please do that. And like and subscribe. And I will see you guys for my next ridiculous butt ton of amount of videos in the month of September. Yeah. I think that came out right. Bye guys.